When most of us think of bees, we think of the honeybee. It's actually native to Europe, but has been shipped all over the world for pollination and honey production. It was brought to Canada's west coast 160 years ago, and it's just one of hundreds of kinds of bees in this province. A lot of people have heard that bees are declining and in general that pollination is at risk. But most people only know about the honeybee. It gets a lot of the credit for doing the work of pollination. But there are 459 other bees in British Columbia. So the honeybee is what we, where we get our honey from. But all the other bees still do pollinate because they collect pollen for their larvae. BC has 50% of all the bees in Canada and 30% of those live in the Okanagan and Central Interior. 70% of them nest in the ground, and then another 30% use holes in trees that were the exit hole of a beetle. The one that most people know is the mason bee, or the blue orchard bee. That's familiar, and a lot of people are gardening with that now, and including it in their gardens. The 70% that nest in the ground create a burrow and chambers off the sides, and they lay a single egg and provision it with pollen. So they're solitary bees and they need soil to burrow into. Copley says you should consider yourself lucky if you find a bumblebee nest in your home. They usually nest in insulation in your attic because they don't bring in nesting material. They also use abandoned rodent burrows and bird nests in trees. So those are some of the places you might find a bumblebee nest. And they don't defend their hive very vigorously, so they're not a danger like a wasp nest right near your door might be. But there is one distinctive species that also happens to be quite endangered. It was declared endangered in 2014, and that's the western bumblebee. It has a very white bum, so when you see it, if you see it, if you're lucky enough to see it, you might recognize it by its bright white bum. Copley hopes people will open their minds and their gardens to the diversity of bees in this province. There's lots of ways you can encourage bees in your landscape. You can use native plants, which they're adapted to and they'll also go to your horticultural plants and your vegetable garden. People can avoid the use of pesticides, purchase organic food. Ground nesting bees can be encouraged by leaving areas of exposed soil and undisturbed. So don't mulch everything because then they can't get access to soil. If you do all these things, you'll end up with more pollinators in your own garden. And then you'll have a lot more fruit and vegetables to harvest in the fall for yourself. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.